But in 1926, they decided that they would incorporate, and that and the, the golf club was actually incorporated in 1926 mm -hmm. by local members. And uh, as time went on, they realized that golf is an 18-hole golf course, not nine. So uh, one of the f founders of the club, a fellow by the name of Gail Dixon, who I knew personally, as a matter of fact, uh, lived on John Street, and he built on the, on the town proper, or on the uh, com commons across from there, three or four holes just for his own personal use. And so when they decided that golf would be an 18-hole golf game, they decided to uh, add on to had uh, enough holes to make it nine holes up at his where his, his course was yeah. on John Street, mm -hmm. and nine on the where it presently is now. And then you would have a horse and buggy, and they would drive you up to the other nine, and then you'd play the other nine at the at that course. And when they did that, that nine hole golf, the present nine hole golf course became a, a course for the ladies only for a while, just a short while, but uh, subsequently it became an 18-hole golf course uh, by using the two nines, by using the... Then, then, th that happened before the war, I guess. Before the First World, but they, when when they came back from the Second World War, as I suggested, they, they, the interest wasn't there as much as it was, so the... Oh, and they, oh this... Uh, they made this nine-hole course up okay. into an 18-hole golf course. So they had a full 18-hole golf course there. And then after the First World War, though, the, the, as I said, the interest seemed to be waning. And as a result, the 18-hole golf course was never redeveloped, never, never used again. So they went back to the original... And it's been that way ever since, really. But in 1926, they say it was incorporated, and they got a president, and uh, and it developed from there. And then they sold shares, and uh, mm -hmm. shares were sold in those days for ten dollars per each.